Hey, what's your name? Okay, my name is Sylvester Loach. Yeah. Uh, I'm a resident of Kibera Slam. Mm -hmm. uh, first born in a family of six. Uh, I did my KCSE back in the year 2010. It's called a big plan, just one point shy to join the university with the joint admission board. Uh, due to financial constraints, I couldn't achieve my dream. I couldn't go to university. So I used to be at home until 2014 when I had of bits. And uh, I got an interest because uh, I was having something to do with creativity. You know, it was something inbuilt. So when I enrolled in June 2014, I did my digital literacy program with them. At the first level, we took three three months. Uh, when while I was waiting to join the next level, I was uh, I was summoned, and I was teaching other students who were at the same level with me. So uh, fast forward, I graduated in 2015, December 4th, in an, with the design as a major. So after that, uh, I stayed at home for like one month. Then uh, come February, I got my internship, the first paid internship. I was paid 10,000. The second month, uh, it was 18,000. And uh, I did internship with Flogin East Africa for like six months. After which uh, I got employment with uh, another organization called Rinya Kenya. Mm -hmm. As an uh, IT, IT support technician. Four months down the line, I got promoted to IT system administrator worked with them for another seven months before I was recalled back to Flogin East Africa. Mm -hmm. So my journey with the graphic design has been uh, a lengthy one, mm -hmm. uh, making making a solution to the community, coming up with solution to agencies. Uh, cumulatively, I have six years work experience as a graphic designer. So late last year, when the Nairobi called me and they wanted a trainer. Uh, I saw that as an opportunity to give back to the community. And uh, being that I was uh, making an handsome amount of money outside there, mm -hmm. I, I had to sacrifice all that because of Nairobi. Because if it were not them, I wouldn't be somebody today. Mm -hmm. So I had to take a big pay cut to give back to the community, just to be a trainer mm. and change one life of a student, one life of a youth in the slum. Mm. So that happened in 2021, October. And uh, I started training with them on October 24th. Until now, I have, uh, I have trained more than uh, 98 students. Mm. And this being my third class I'm training. Yeah, so I'm seeing a big progress, yeah. uh, changing lives, making me happy. And uh, maybe something uh, I'd like to caution uh, here at Kangemi Youth Center, uh, in particular, we are having an issue with the internet. So I think this is something which needs to be tackled in a very urgent way. Way. Uh, being an ICT institution where we work with the laptops uh, or desktops, PCs, we need a, a working, reliable internet. So that's an in run uh, when, uh, when most of the projects we are doing, most of them we, take, we upload them online, some tutorials we get online. So it's a, it's a bit setback on my side as a trainer. Uh, the students are uh, much okay. They are uh, progressing in a positive way. Some came without uh, without even touching, knowing what a computer is. Mm -hmm. Some haven't touched a computer before, but uh, as you have seen back in the class, they are doing some amazing work there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we are already in the design part. We are when at the introductory part, and uh, they are doing some wonderful jobs up there. Yeah. And yeah. you are doing an amazing job. Thank you.